it is recording. Yay, Yay we're recording. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Eric. Robin. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> and this is Robin is Stuart Perspective. I've been slightly under the weather, so my voice is kind of ugh. Yeah, we wanted to do this like a couple of days ago, but we had some fun with a tornado warnings and yeah. cold front and all of it hit while we were eating chicken and the sirens went off. And we actually... It was the first time I've actually been somewhere where these sirens went off. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty, like, get somewhere now. Yeah. And you were doing pretty, you were doing fine before that, but we had to bolt out in the middle of the rainstorm with the cold temperatures, so we both got soaked, had to go hang out, and uh, literally the brick shit house up the road. Okay. <laughs> yeah, where it was cold. Yeah, it was cold it was in cold there, in and there. wait this out for like 25, 30 minutes yeah. before it kind of died down, and we all came back to the... To the RV, and I think that's where you got a little cold. Yeah, it was either that or something blew in. Yeah, and just really attacked me. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't feel like that. Like hardly ever. Yeah. I mean, just every once in a while. And, I mean, I'm 51, and I felt like that maybe what three times. I think so. Yeah. That happened very often. That I was. I could. I can only breathe out of one nostril. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that kind of sucks. It's either you. It's stuffy, or it's runny. And you wake up in the middle of the night and you have that crusty <laughs> all around your nose. Oh, and it's like, oh, oh that's gross. So you have to get up and you got to blow uh, your nose and you got to clean, you know. Yeah, it's fun. Oh. <sighs> anyway, so she's doing well enough. I managed to get her to, to sit down and jump on the microphone and see if we can't do this episode number 12, which mm-hmm. is going to be... For our fellow RV lifers and travelers and stuff like that, we're going to do like a little review of Rockport, and we spent two months there. The big city. The, yeah, the big shitty of the Rockport. Big of Rockport. <laughs> <laughs> that, and before we get into it, let's jump into the business, you know. If you want to support the show, join us over at patreon.com slash Perspective. Five dollars a month gets you first access to the podcast before it is released publicly on all the other platforms. We actually have several people doing that now. Yeah, we have a few patrons. Yay! That's awesome. It's not just one anymore. Not They're multiplying. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Now we just need the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> For the greater good. <laughs> Come on, come on. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah, we really want to make this thing viable. We need some help. No, I really need a new pair of shoes. I'm going to a concert this week, and I have no shoes oh, to wear. Sh- <sighs> <sighs> right. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Anyway, so with that, you get the uh, podcast uh, in advance before it goes live on the other platforms. You got me distracted there. You get exclusive content like um, videos and uh, other pod- podcasts and specials and stuff. And I've got, uh, we're releasing this episode. I'm releasing episode two of Tripping Down the Rabbit Hole with uh, uh, going to, um, discussing Jelly Roll. And I'm also going to do a bonus video um compilation of about 11 or 12 of his songs stretching over the last few years so not just the mainstream stuff that a lot of people hear right now that's two of my favorite things jelly and roll (laughs) (laughs) i like them both (laughs) oh did you take your day club or your night quilt. I don't think either one. Maybe that's a problem. No, okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, join us on uh, Patreon. Uh, or if you just want to listen to the podcast and follow the podcast, uh, join us over on Podbean. And with the Podbean, we are now actually, we're on uh, we're on Amazon Podcast. We're on Stitcher. We're on Spotify. We're on about a dozen other platforms. Are we on Apple yet? No, Apple's dragging their feet. Come on, Apple, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you can find our podcast and wherever you find it whatever platform make sure that you're doing the big four okay like it subscribe or follow comment even if it's just comment for the algorithm c4 ta comment for the algorithm okay and then um share it share it share it share it share it those four things helps us beat the algorithm and 
Man, even Russell uh, Russell Brand is talking about the algorithm is is kind of kicking his butt. I mean, he just relaunched his YouTube channel. He's six and a half million people. I don't know how he's feeling the algorithm problem, but <laughs> poor guy, poor guy. We got like sixty. <laughs> Woo! We got a ways to go. I feel so bad. We should send some of our people his way. No, he should send some of his our way. Oh, poor guy. Anyway, but yeah, we got to beat the algorithm. You got to do the big four, okay? Um, you can do that with also join our Facebook group. You can join the conversation there. We got a lot of stuff going on there. We, that's growing. We went from like 33 people. We're up to 75. I've got some milestones I'm trying to reach. They're small right this minute. I simply want to get the Facebook page up above a hundred. So I got to get 25 more people over there. I want to get up above a hundred and we'll look at the next milestone. The YouTube channel, which is, um, uh, random access web TV. That's the home of, the. Uh, our videos and stuff like that that go public, not the ones that are on Patreon. But that has 109 subscribers, and I'm trying to get that one over 1,000 because at 1,000, I can start monetizing the YouTube channel. So hit us up there. Uh, podcasts and stuff, we've just got to get more and more people to, to listen to it, download and share it, you know, and comment, break the algorithm. Uh, if you want to donate to the show, you can donate directly to... Um, paypal.me slash uh, raw communications that's a uh, just donate that way you can uh, buy us a beer we got uh, one of our patrons uh, donated $25 to buy us a round of beer and stuff like yes. that so we're going to get Yay. that next paycheck uh, next, paycheck. next uh, program we're going to do that one and then uh, what's the last thing to do oh you can go to uh, reaperapparelco.com use um, the promo code Uncle Mongrel, and you'll get 10% off your purchase, and they will give us a little bit back to the show to help us out here. All right, ReaperApparelCo.com. Remember, they have the big boy t-shirts, 4X, 5X, and they're comfy and good quality products. Great concepts on the artwork as well, so check those guys out, all right? That is the business, and as usual... Mr. Paco. He's sitting here grabbing at me. And is, he's here, eh, 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 eh. And I'm just like, oh my God, are he, you kidding me? He's like a little three-year-old child. He does not. He knows when we put on the headphones. He, yeah. He knows we're going to be busy for at least an hour or so. And he comes over and he's like, mm, 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 yeah. mm, when he's right starting, here at me. When he's whining, that's when he normally usually has to go out. So yeah. we're going to take a little pause right here. And we're going to come back and jump right into the Rockport Review. And uh, I'm like, all right, Paco. Oh, my God. He's like, I got to uh, go today. <laughs> all right. Dude. All right. We'll be right back. Be back. <sighs> okay. We are back. And uh, Mr. Paco, you are welcome, sir. Uh, yeah. That's that's the life we live dealing with this doc. <laughs> All right. So this is one that we promised before we left down there, uh, left the coast and before we headed up to where we are right now. And, uh, it's going to be just a review of our time there in Rockport. And, uh, it's been 19 days since we left there. <laughs> we're just we are, not getting around to this. Well, we had, something. we had the Nate stuff and stuff and the other two, yeah. which surprisingly, uh, episode 10 and 11 have been our, our, our most downloaded ones. And that was the one um, by, uh, by DNA, biology, and a fat little kid. Biology, DNA, and, and a fat, fat little kid. Sorry, Robin wrote that episode, and that was a very important episode <laughs> and a great one. And um, Nate's uh, The Plant Paradox has actually, those two have been downloaded a lot, which is awesome. It was very interesting. Because we're going to be doing a little, trying to expound a little more on the Stuart perspective and stuff. And we'll still always do like the political stuff, maybe, you know, and the pop culture and things like that. And these little updates on the travel and stuff. But yeah, we want to broaden our horizons yeah. on our perspective. So here's an idea. Stuff. Here's an idea. Okay. Do you have something you want to hear our perspective about? Come on. Crickets. Crickets. Challenge us. <laughs> Challenge us. Give us something to dive into and read, and we'll give you a perspective about it. <laughs> People don't care. Do they care? I don't know. I don't know. Crickets. All right. Let's get to this. Rockport in review. I kind of broke this a little down, and uh, we're starting off with things to see. Now, we were there for two months, and uh, 
it, let's be let's face it, it was the middle of the Texas winter. Uh, it was January and February. So yeah. things to see could be greater in the uh, summer times. Oh, I'm sure that it's yeah. definitely a lot greater in, in the late spring, mm-hmm. summertime. Yeah. There's a lot more people. Uh, everything is a lot more vibrant. Yeah. It was gray pretty much the whole time we were there. <laughs> One of the really cool things they had was the Fulton Mansion. It was beautiful. And the day that we decided to go and look at it and do the tour and everything like that, it was closed for annual maintenance. So make sure you check the website, people. Uh, but let's just give it a little. It's a take a peek into the life of an 1800s affluent Texas family, the home of engineer George Fulton. Check the website for closures. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's about it. Spoiler uh, alert. That's all I can tell you. It's a great big mansion right down off the shore there, and it's uh, it's pretty. I'll post a picture of it. Yay. I don't know what else I can tell nope. you about it. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's a pretty place. Yeah. They do have a very large um, beach area down there. It's called the Fulton Beach Park. Okay. Now, if you drive your vehicle in there, it's ten dollars per day per vehicle. So put so everybody. If you have a family of twenty, put them all in the pickup truck and take them in there. Yeah. Okay. Get Somehow, your money's worth. some way, get them all in there. Get your money's worth. Okay. Uh, you can also pay forty dollars for the entire year. So if you are there for like a two month stretch, like we were. And you plan to go several times, the forty dollars might be worth it. Yeah. You know? But it was like we said, it was gray, it was overcast, it was winter time, and we weren't gonna go more than that one time we went. Yeah. Okay? There was there was not gonna be any swimming while we no, were there. No, we we stuck our feet in the water. We did. And it, it was did. cold. It was cold as hell. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah it was cold just to walk along the beach when we did that for a little bit. And it yeah, was nice. That was uh we may have seen a little video of the the uh, seagull that was following us. Yeah. <laughs> He was. I swear he was. He was following us. He, he walked up and down the beach with us. Yeah. And then whenever I turned around, he'd act like he wasn't looking. He's like, uh-huh. yeah, uh huh, whatever. Now, the only thing, um, let's see, ten dollars. You can also uh, they have a parking area outside the main gate, and you can walk on for free. But the big thing that's a no-no for us is it's no pets. Yeah, you yeah. Can't take your pets inside. You can't take your pets, which is okay because human beings are disgusting and they don't pick up after animals. Remember, people, uh, if your pup poops, you need to scoop. Human beings don't even pick up after themselves. That's true. I mean, you know, come on. We'll get to that one. Yeah, we'll we'll sorry, I just yeah, get right. kind of uh, about that. No, people are people are disgusting. They are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are a disgusting right. creature. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Fulton Beach. One of the other things that I didn't even know was happening until they started setting everything up, and then you told me what it was, yeah. and it was the Rockport Farmer's Market. Yeah, which it was a little more market and not a whole lot of farmers. Farmer, no. no. But it was, eh, you know, it's people that, you yeah. know, make their own goods or just, you know, sell stuff. There was a guy that was selling, like, T-shirts and flags and people that sold, like, this one guy was selling... Um, what was that we bought from him? Oh, that's down at the bottom. It's um, it's a guy called uh, his company's called B and Brew, and he uh, makes mead. And his brewery is in Fort Worth, Texas, and he uses only real Texas honey uh, off his bee, his bees and stuff produce it. So it, it was it's really good. We had some samples of it. We've got a bottle of it that we have yet to crack open. We want to do an entire show and drink that bottle at the same time. That'll be fun. Yeah, well, that's good. But I was talking about the. What? Uh, uh, chicharrones. Oh, the ch- <laughs> the uh, guy made homemade chicharrones. Yeah. And they were like, uh, one of them was what was it? Ranch. Ranch. Ranch flavor. Spicy ranch. Spicy ranch. Spicy I couldn't ranch. taste anything. And the other one was. <laughs> I don't know what the other one was. was I think it? it was it was barbecue. bacon. Oh, bacon. Wasn't it? It's kind of all I know flavor? is I know. all I know is the packages we bought from them. They were very good. They were fresh, obviously fresh fried, and there may have been seasoning in there, but. <laughs> So I think we paid twelve dollars for a bag of unflavored chicharrones. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just slap the label on it and sold it anyway. I don't know. It was the it was a Sunday and it was a three day event and we were there on the last day. So. Yeah, and there was um, a lot of the um, food trailers, all different kinds of stuff you could mm-hmm. get. And there was a couple of guys there going back and forth that were singing, and one of them was really good. And one of them was really good singing. One of them was really good on the harmonica. The yeah. problem is, he stopped playing the harmonica and tried to sing. <laughs> Not so good. 
<laughs> not so good. Um, uh, but 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 they seemed like real fun loving guys, and they, oh, yeah. apparently they appear like f- every Thursday at what is that Lulu's, Lulu's landing? landing? Lulu's landing. Yeah. yeah, and we'll talk about that in a minute too. We didn't yeah. get to go so, there. So you know, it was, it, there's a lot of things going on at that little market, and a lot of stuff to see, a lot of stuff to hear, a lot of stuff to eat, mm-hmm. a lot of stuff to buy. There was this one. Excuse me. That um, they did a lot of metal work. Yeah. I remember that one. I mean, they had all kinds of flamingos that were like windmills and stuff, yeah. and they had windmills, 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 windmills. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I got some videos. Where are you from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm all over the place. No, right? We've been so many places. Yeah, they had giant cactus and yeah. cactuses, cacti, cactus, giant cacti. <laughs> giant cacti and the giant rooster. I've always wanted a giant cacti. Uh, never mind. <laughs> you were gonna say a giant cock. I was. <laughs> I was. And every time we see him, we're always like, "That's a giant cock." Yeah, and we're up. We're yeah. Where we are right now, they're all over the place. Yeah, yeah. There, there's like two or three places right down the street from us that have all those yeah iron works. Yeah, right on the side of the road. Look at giant. The cock. tile of I know. We always say, "Look at that's a giant cock right there." Yeah. And I'm like, where? <laughs> <laughs> How much for one of those? <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey. I um, love you too, honey. I am a woman after all. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not giving away any secrets. Uh, so on the Epic <clears throat> Market here, um, you can bring your friendly dogs. Friendly is the key because there's a lot of people, a lot of foot traffic. And everybody's walking with their dogs amongst everybody, and everybody everybody's going to touch. Everybody's going to touch them. Right. And this one brought this. He had like they had like a wolf hybrid. Yeah, beautiful dog. Big oh. beautiful dog, and really friendly. But the look on his face when you first see him is skittish, and you're like, <laughs> "I'm not going near you. That's a dire wolf. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm, I've seen the. I've seen <laughs> Game of Thrones. That, right. I've seen Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah. No." Let's keep my distance with everybody. I've I've kind of gotten to where I ask everybody, "Oh, he's so cute. Can I can I pet him? Is it okay?" No. You know, um, they had there were some people there that had a petting zoo. Yeah. And the story, <laughs> these yeah. people, they were like, you know, uh, they were. I'm how not, can I say? I'm not going to say charlatan, but um, charlatan, salt of the earth. Um, <sighs> Anyway, um, uh, Kentucky and, Backwoods, can Kentucky. I say that? Anyway, very nice guy and, and his wife. Uh, so they ran the shelter for these different exotic animals that needed homes or, you know, got injured. People didn't want them anymore. Decided that their little bitty pig that they bought grew up to be a big pig. And they were like, what the hell? I bought a little tiny pig. Now it's a big pig. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Well, Pigs do that. Yeah, but stupid people, people out there stupid. think that their little pig is going to stay a There is pig. no such thing as a micro pig. <laughs> it's called a baby pig. <laughs> it grows up to be a big pig. But anyway, they had some really, really oh, just cute little animals. They mm-hmm. had rabbits. They had mm-hmm. a goat. They had a baby goat that had been just been born like the day before, and the mother rejected him. So mm-hmm. they were having a bottle feed it there, and but it was so damn cute. It was so cute. Um, I'm a sucker for baby goats. I love baby goats. I, I raised goats when I was a kid. Yeah. And I love goats. I, I, really was, I love baby everything. They but really I was going to try to take pictures. But oh, no, 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 no. It's $5 a person. And if you just want to take pictures, it's $5 for the, for the right to take pictures. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, when somebody's back was turned, I may have got one or two <laughs> pictures, like it or not. Right. I'm going to go way over here and zoom in with my yeah. $1,400 camera. You're in freaking public, sir. Anyway, yeah. now anyway. They, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they know that everything was legit yeah, on that. Yeah. But hopefully I mean, they are who they say they are, and they're really helping. Yeah. They're getting $5 per person. A lot of people want to go there. A lot of people wanted to go in there and touch those, those goats. They really those, did. Those rabbits and everything. And they, they were all friendly animals. He even had like a, I don't know. A uh, monkey. I don't know what kind it was, though. That was everybody was loving on that monkey too. I'm like, oh, yeah, crap. they're loving on everything. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> that was, that's that one there. <laughs> ah. So anyway, so that was pretty cool. If you have a chance to go to that, yeah, I would it's, say it's go to that. It's the third I mean, weekend of every month. Yeah, and it's free to get in. Free to get in. You just park and yep. walk on over. Yep. All right. So this is Rockport. Rockport and Fulton are are definitely a small. Um, 
how should I put this politely? <laughs> Dirty little seaside village. Okay. So it's not it's not filthy, but it's a, a seaside village. There are pockets. And there are things you get down on the docks. They are docks. They are oceanside docks with real fishermen. They go out and work every day. Mm -hmm. So they're not the prettiest docks. But there are a ton of charter uh, fishing boats. So if that's what you're into, you want to go down there, you got a lot of things you can charter out there. Okay? I mean, you can drive around that town and you figure out real quick that it's been wiped out a few times. Oh, God. There are still so and many. And a lot of people just didn't even bother to... <laughs> Yeah. Clean up. The first time we went down there, there was one that had a uh, just a slab, and then right next to it, they had put in a um, one of these little portable buildings, and they had built a little apartment in that little portable building, and they had a for sale sign on the on the lot. You know, we came back this time around, and uh, I guess his hot plate had an accident because the little shed was burnt down. Burnt down. He was right downtown. Right downtown. It was right downtown. Burnt down, and I think they got it sold. I think so, because uh, there was some guys there cleaning everything off and I mean, cleaning some more. Uh, I'm not going to say insurance fraud, but insurance, <laughs> arson? What? I mean, no, nothing. Nothing like that. Nothing, nothing. No, knowing them people down mm -hmm. there, his hot plate really did. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, those people, it's like, it's a, it's, it's so many different types of people. Yeah. You'll find out. And before anybody thinks we're making fun of people, uh, we are them people. <laughs> yeah, right. This is I can make fun of them people because I am I, I am one. Yeah, I is one, yeah. Yeah. We grew up that way. Not in a small fishing village, but in a small rural, <laughs> rural, 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 rural. I grew up in a trailer park. Yeah. 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 yeah so, we we mm. moved down there every six months, so, you know. <laughs> So anyway, no, we're not making fun of anybody. We're just telling, yeah, you know, like is. this is, this is the way it is. This people? is the people. There's all kinds of people down there. There's people that have been down there forever. Mm -hmm. And there's people that Come got some go. money and decided they wanted a big, nice house by the water. <laughs> yeah. And they they live side by side. Yeah. <laughs> Literally side by side. You will see this one that this family just has. It's just burnt out RVs. And you can tell this whole thing, this whole area was wiped out in the storm. And they just have not refurbished anything. But there's a brand new neighborhood right across the street with these like three hundred thousand dollar homes, and they look out right across all this burnt out stuff. And the family still lives over there, and they apparently give the family a lot of crap because the family had this big old sign that says, "Don't you just hate us?" <laughs> well, yeah, that, and I think almost every time we drove by, there was another RV sitting there that was all dilapidated. I think yeah. they were actually moving more shit. <laughs> Onto their property. Now, in all fairness, had that been me and some snooty person from across the street that bought a house when I was already over here and they knew what they were getting, decides to try and force me off my land or whatever, guess what? I'm collecting more shit and I'm putting it out there too. So I kind of see their point. The rebel in me sees their point. Yeah, well, not if I was your wife. <laughs> Get that crap out of here. It's making us look like hillbillies. <laughs> Even more so. Hillbillies. We yeah, live right. in a shoebox already. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. yeah uh, but, yeah, those little areas like that, pockets like that, are literally right next to brand new neighborhoods with million-dollar homes. Yeah. And, wow, man. Wow. Yeah, because there's... A a lot of new developments going up mm -hmm. as well out there in that area. That's these really expensive houses yeah. on the water and they're either having to coexist with all this or they're trying to push them off so they can buy their land or whatever yeah. and build, you know, just like they do everywhere else, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I can see there's a little bit of tug of war. Yeah. And so there goes the, the fishing bus. There's also a ton of uh, free boat launches. So if you have your own boat and want to go down there and do a little bay fishing and stuff like that, there's plenty of places for you to launch from. Okay? We do not have a boat. We do not have a boat. But and with my... At one point in my life, I owned half a boat. Well, with my, but with my, my injury... We won't get into that. <laughs> uh, let's not do that. With my injury, I... Sadly, have to I think pull the card on boat trips because I can hit a pothole in the truck and it just takes my breath away and sends pain throughout my body. And unfortunately, uh, you can't control that on the boat. And it really, you just really need sucks. a really good cushion strapped to your butt. 
It's not my butt. It's my back. I know, but if you, your guess what, honey? Your butt and your back, back are, are connected. Attached. Holy you shit! You have a cushion. Are you attached? Me? And when you go oh up and down, god. oh god! You know oh what? my god! Anybody know a good divorce attorney? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know a, in the comments. A, we need a sponsor. <laughs> Okay, uh, another site to see is one that we actually frequented a lot. It's the North Cove Harbor Wetlands Sanctuary. Look at North Cove Harbor Wetlands Sanctuary. Good Lord. You want, you know, when you type it out and what it says on the website and you type that out, it doesn't look that bad until you try and say that loud while you're on the microphone. Jesus. Anyway, it was our favorite. We were staying in a little RV park, and we'll get into that in just a minute, right next to this. And this is where um, part of my, like, I, Paco being our my service dog, service you know, whatever, is he keeps me going. He he gets me up just like at the start of this podcast. I had to get up. We had to go get up and walk him. Uh, if it weren't for him, there's a lot of times that I would just sit in that recliner. And um, if you he, could see me, my head is bobbing up and down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he gets me up and I and I walk. So he, he at least four times a day he gets me up to go walk him. So in the mornings, that's Robin's asleep. Paco gets out of bed with me and. Me and him start our morning cup of coffee, get dressed, and we go for a walk. So we would walk through this, thing, this uh, wetland sanctuary because usually not a lot of people out there. Soft sand area, and uh, it's usually really peaceful out there. See a ton of birds. It's a bird sanctuary. You know, I've seen a ton of red uh, rosette spoonbills, and if you've been paying attention, you've heard the story of my flamingos, which actually turned out to be rosette spoonbills. Blue herons, tricolor herons, great white egrets, all kinds of gulls, pelicans, grays, and whites, crested caracars, or a.k.a. the Mexican eagle, and osprey, a.k.a. the seahawk, and so many, many other ones that were out there. Uh, tons of different types of fish, too. Uh, fish, crabs. With the, we, right at the end, we started seeing a crap ton of little hermit crabs were all over the place. Every time we went down there, we were getting one on the shore. There were hermit yeah. crabs everywhere. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They were just taking their time, and <laughs> we'd, like, put our foot next to them, and they were like, oh, shit, and they started a little bit faster getting out. And I was like... <laughs> They were so cute. And then, of course, you pick them up and they go in. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, put me down, put me down. The but, aliens don't pick me up. I've been abducted. <laughs> the big, giant Amazon woman. And then sometimes if you go out like at 9, 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. and you're walking along the shore, the, the, there was all these holes everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, little, yeah. There's little holes everywhere all over the shore. And I never saw anything. I was like, well, you know, I know something's down in there, but I just didn't know exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. And this one night we're walking, I have the flashlight and Paco's in front of me. And all of a sudden I just see all these little crabs everywhere. And little fiddler crabs. And I'm like, oh my God. And Eric was behind me and I said, watch out, don't step on that one. Crack. <laughs> oh, my bad. Oops. I'm sorry. Sorry. But I'm yeah, they sorry. were everywhere. This cute little, these little crabs just running all over the place. And uh, so, yeah, that was kind of cool to see. And. What was it, like our first or second time out there, we saw the dolphins? Yeah, yeah. And again, I did a video of that one with the wetlands and stuff, and you'll see the, the dolphins out there. They had a, they were, uh, There were two of them, and they were uh, cornering a, a school of fish. One would chase the school of fish towards the one, and he'd get his feet on, and he'd chase it towards the other one and get it, and that one would get his feet on. It's really, it was cool to see and just happened to be right there when we were right there at it and every night you'd see fish jumping and stuff. And it was just, it was yeah. just really peaceful. So I highly recommend cool. going out there and checking that out. And we're going to get to the RV park cause I do recommend this RV park and um, you, you will enjoy the sanctuary next to it, the wetland sanctuary. So, all right, let's see one of the here. Oh, the Rockport cultural arts district. Woo. The historic downtown area. Okay, let's face it. It's just old. It's, it's not historic. It's just old. Okay? Yeah. All the old downtown places that you see. It's historic. It's historic. This historic building. It's not historic. It's no, just it's just old. one we haven't torn down yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's just old. It was built in 1960. It's not historic. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's pretty cool little downtown area. Basically, what they've done is something little uh, downtown area. It's where you can go and you find all the little artsy fartsy shops and stuff like that. You know, the art galleries. There's a movie. Th no, there's a a theater down there for plays. So that type of theater, not a movie theater, play theater. You, you know, yeah, you yeah. get it. 
You get it, right? Yeah. And there's a bunch of venues down there for live music and stuff like that. And there's a few few restaurants, not a whole lot of big fancy stuff, but there's a few restaurants down there. Yeah. But that is the Rockport Cultural Arts District. And quite honestly, we just never had the urge to go walk around them. I did, but I never could get my husband to take me down there. Oh, the bull. Oh, the bull. <sighs> Fine. All right, we're going to make a trip anyway, down to Rockport no, we just to go to, shopping. We really don't need to do that, honey. No, we don't. We can make a trip right down the street on first Monday oh, and have all the shopping we want right here. Don't even have to wait till first Monday. Huh? <laughs> so anyway, the uh, last thing we got here is um, the Fulton Oyster Fest. Okay, now, This is the biggest festival they have down there, apparently. The problem with it is it took place exactly three days after we left. So I can only tell you what the website says. It's a ginormous festival featuring... Well, I didn't say ginormous. I threw that in there. Festival featuring carnival rides, games, food, an oyster eating contest, live music, and a unique vendor booth all centered around oysters. All right. I guess so. I mean, seriously, why would they call it the Oyster Fest if it wasn't, right? <laughs> it's like the Oyster Fest where we center around crawfish. Well, Flugerville is the Deutschen Fest. What the hell is a Deutschen? What's a Deutsch? Well, Deutsch, that's... I, I, I know. Okay. I get it. It's just... <laughs> I mean, we used to have the Pecan Street Festival downtown Austin. There was no pecans. <laughs> there were no pecans. It's Pecan Street. I know. Not Pecan Tree. I know. I know. I know. I know. You know? I Do know. you know? I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> God. So, yeah, obviously all the big, huge stuff happens the weekend after we leave. Yeah, now, one of the restaurants we're going to go over uh, is, like, literally right across the street from where this thing takes place. And Kevin, our waiter, we got to know because we went there frequently. <laughs> we went there, like, three times. Yeah, but Kevin remembered us. Three we remembered times. Kevin. <laughs> well, it wasn't hard to remember Kevin. He was the only one that worked there. I know, <laughs> Seemed like it anyway. Anyway, he uh, said they're like the closest bathroom that you don't have to pay for, or something like that, and and or they were selling drinks or whatever. But either, either way, people were coming from the oyster fest across the street and filling up the bar and getting drinks and using the bathroom to go back to the oyster festival across the street. So he said the restaurant during the oyster fest is just as busy as crazy. across the street. Yeah. I, I, I guess it would be. I wouldn't, yeah. We'll go over that in just a minute. Who that one is? Just a second, because we're not in. We're not into the food yet. We're still on the uh, the things to see, and we have. Uh, I think I've exhausted the actual things for Rockport and Fulton. Yeah. We have Rockport adjacent, which uh, is the uh, I put down as the the Texas State Aquarium, which we've already done in a previous podcast. Yes. And the Lexington, aka the Blue Ghost, which yes. we've done, and I've also done a bunch of videos from the aquarium. Uh, you might have seen no, Becky the Mean Fish. <laughs> Becky. She's, I think we're sitting at almost 6,000 views on Becky the Mean Fish. Just the, oh. just the explicit version. <laughs> anyway, if you want to hear the whole explicit um, audio, it's really funny. Three and a half minutes of just us riffing on these fish, and then we break out into uh, <laughs> all in the family all theme the family. song. And everything. It's oh, my freaking, God. It was, it was, it was yeah. hilarious. We were laughing our asses off. Yeah. So three whole minutes on that. But you got to join Patreon, $5 a month, and you can have that. Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, so the, the the Blue Ghost, the Lexington there, you know, those are all just right down the road. And then it's a hop, skip, and a jump across the big bridge over to Corpus. And we're not talking about Corpus because we're talking about Rockwell. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the next heading. Food. Can Ooh. we get to the good part? Ooh. Food. Food. Look, we just went to dinner before we get here. Yeah. Yeah. call it dinner. Uh, so many places leave so much to be desired nowadays when you go to get something to eat. I mean, I used to love to go. I would take the girls and mom and dad, and we would go to Schlotsky's, and we'd have a nice little sandwich, chips, and a drink, and good conversation as a family. And it was good food, you know? And, uh, yeah, not so much. <laughs> yeah. Not so much. Yours actually tasted weird. <laughs> you had the turkey and avocado. We we're getting a sidetrack here, but we're we talking about food. <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> we're food. Talking about food. Okay, so um, turkey. yeah. <coughs> cough, cough, cough. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, the the I, I saw it, it was like avocado and turkey. Mmm, sounds, sounds good. So good. Sounds good. And so I got you know the small one, mm-hmm. and I started eating it, and it just really was very blah. And the turkey had a weird taste. It did have a weird taste. It did like have a weird taste. aftertaste or yeah. something. I was just wasn't really into it. Um, but I think, you know, like ten years ago, food when you went somewhere, anywhere, it didn't matter where it was, was is a lot better um, because food costs have yeah. gone up so much yeah. that they have to cut back oh, man. so much on everything that they just kind of have to get like, okay, here's the basic this and the basic yeah. this and the basic like, this. I took, I took you to Witch Witch. <laughs> oh my God. We were back in Austin. <laughs> we were back, no, we were back in Hutto there. And, and I was craving, if only you guys know Witch Witch, it's a sandwich shop. But Witch Witch used to have what they called their Skinny Witch, mm-hmm. which was any of their sandwiches served wrapped in lettuce instead of bread. And oh my God, I would get the roast beef and provolone, and they would load up that roast beef and wrap it in that lettuce, and it was the most delicious thing I ever had. And I just, I, I kept longing for that. I was like, all right, we're back in town. Let's go to Witch Witch. So we found the closest Witch Witch when I go in there. <laughs> Wait a minute, Becca. <laughs> we found the closest one, and we should have known. Yeah. Don't do that. Because it was inside a gas, a station. gas station. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back, <laughs> we should have went. Nope. nope. Where's yeah. the 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 next freestanding like in its own building? Yeah. Yeah. So we went in and and uh, the witch witch is gone. The skinny witch is gone. Yeah. And I was like, well, crap! I didn't want all the bread. And yeah. I'm like, well, they have a bowl, so I can get the bowl, the witch in the bowl. And. Uh, it was basically a little bit of shredded lettuce. And, and very little. Very little. Seriously. Shredded, just regular iceberg lettuce, like nothing fancy, mm-hmm. with a few of whatever your toppings were, mm-hmm. with a drink. And we sat down, literally, and I looked at the receipt. $30, wasn't it? $30. It was literally <laughs> probably the size of a dinner salad you'll get at like a... Um, I like the uh, chilies, the, the 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 soup and salad. Yeah, at chilies, it's yeah. that size yeah. of salad. Yeah, it's like a, it's a it's a. That's size how salad. big the salad the salad was. I I almost <laughs> like you're kidding me, right? We just paid there. We could have gone to a yeah. decent restaurant, <laughs> thirty dollars. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was. They will not ever do which which again. I'm it was sorry. A let down. So, and that's about how this Schlotzkis yeah. was across the road. But yeah, I, I, just, I contributed to you know prices are so high that. that Restaurants, everybody has had to cut okay. back, and you get your basic, you know, whatever, and just a little bit of this, a Even little bit of that. Chicken Express, when you stop by there because your sandwich wasn't enough, so we got you some chicken. Because I just wanted a couple pieces of yeah, chicken. because you didn't tenders. you didn't finish the sandwich because it tasted like blah. yeah. But we ordered the chicken tenders and the gravy and a biscuit. The biscuit, well, it, it, it's like, it looked like somebody stepped on it. <laughs> It, it, it looked like a half dollar. You know what a hockey puck looks like? Well, this biscuit was smaller than that. <laughs> <laughs> and almost flat. I'm like, we, we're from the South. That, that ain't what I call a biscuit, man. I mean. I was like, oh, well. Anyway. I don't care. That's the, you know, the, the, the problem with traveling. You just got to deal I've, with. I've got to start making my own food at home. <laughs> yeah, we got whatever. We got a lot of that. Anyway. Well, back right. to Rockport. Anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we so digress. I, yeah, we digress greatly. Uh, so there were so many restaurants, food trailers, and tiny little home walls that you may never even uh, stumble upon them. So we did. We stumbled on a bunch of things here. Mm-hmm. Um, the ones that I'm going to list first are the ones that we actually went to and we preferred, and we kind of made them part of our routine. Uh, one of them, which was a, a pleasant little surprise right off the bat, is Hoots Country Kitchen. <laughs> there's nothing nothing funny about this just it's just a little i, I remember we we drove by this place before we even knew yeah, what the we hell were, it was when we were searching for and it was cars. closed yeah we just, and it was closed and that area it's in it's one of those parts it's, it's where it's 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 where the blue collar workers the, the, yeah it's live. very blue collar yeah very and i at the time we were like oh no, let's go get, get back to the main road back to the main road yeah. but then you know once we got down there and we were there you know we we went back by it and it was open turns out it was a great little place yeah great little price the the price the prices aren't horrible. It's unless you just get the barbecue. We'll get that in a second. But it's in a it's in a it's in a shed. 
and it's got a drive-up window, and okay. it's cash only. <laughs> you say it's in a shed. Well, it's in one of those wooden sheds. It's one. It's a. It's one of the nice wooden, wooden sheds. A, a building, building that with you a would porch. build. Uh, you know, and maybe put like a one-bedroom apartment or something in. Okay, yeah, she's right. There's a place right down the street here in, in Canton that literally put a shed right out in front of their house and has a drive-up window in the back of the shed. I don't even know what that. I is. I don't know what they serve. I don't know if it's snow cones. Can I, get I some don't. Weed? <laughs> it's a weed shed. Oh, I'll be right back. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's none of that here, believe it or not. I know. <laughs> well, I RV. smelt it the other day. It's, it's not, not in this RV, I'm saying. Oh, I know. Not, uh, uh, we are not. Yeah. This is how we are yeah. naturally. Yeah. Until it's legal, we're not. Sorry. Naturally. Until it's legal, we're not. Uh, anyway. Anyway. So, excuse me. I almost had a sneeze there. The lady uh, that... We saw every time we went, did the way she in the window. Hey, how are you? Oh. I mean, she was so nice. I mean, full of, I mean, even at the end of her day. Yeah. You know, we drive up with 15 minutes left and she'd be like, hey, how are y'all? Which is weird, too. Now, so their, nice. their hours are all over the place. It says they're closed like four days a week. <laughs> yeah. And we've gone there and they're open on those yeah. days. It said they were closed on Fridays, but we were there on Friday. Yeah. And it was open. <laughs> and it says they were closed at two. We were there at four. Really? Yeah. It's a four? Yeah. Because uh, it, it said open 6 to 2, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah. And they were closed Friday, Saturday, Sunday because, obviously, I think the family works it. Yeah. You know, so they... Yeah, it's a daughter and her dad. Her dad was running the barbecue, so I know that. And they must make enough. I guess. Because they do breakfast. And I bet they do a big uh, breakfast with all their tacos. All, yeah, stuff. with all those blue-collar workers over mm-hmm. there. Anyway, <laughs> what our favorite thing there that we repeatedly went over to get was their loaded tater tots. Oh my God! And I've shown, I've seen pictures. I, I put pictures up on the Facebook side of things, and we're talking uh, brisket, we're talking chili, we're talking uh, sour cream, uh, chives. Uh, what else was Did on you say there? Cheese, cheese, tons of cheese. Uh, oh yeah, my God! It's it just, it was, it was pretty good. I mean, it was huge, and <laughs> I got it the first time, and I think I maybe, maybe ate a quarter of it. Yeah, and I, I just that was it. I couldn't. Couldn't do no more. I, I'd eat like half of it and then try and try and put it in the refrigerator and then I'd like chop it up and mix it in my eggs the next day. Yeah. Uh, which, which was really good. Yeah. And that's but, like 10, what was it? Like 10 99 or something? It was like 8 99 Eight ninety nine. Was it 8 99 piece, yeah. With all the brisket and everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was more than that. Yeah. No, so the tater better deal. were really, really reasonable. Yeah. And now when we get into, we went on a barbecue kick. There was a another one that we went to called Choo Choo Barbecue. And we'll go over that in just a second. But I really wanted to try the barbecue because Choo Choo's, their sign says, our meat is better than down the street. You know? <laughs> so I was like, well, I'll be the judge of that. I'll go down to Hoots and I'll get some barbecue there. So we got sausage and brisket there. And um, ooh, it was like $57 yeah. for a pound of sausage and a pound of brisket and some uh, tater salad. It was like $57. <laughs> Yeah. And um, when he came home and told me that, I was like, what? Holy crap, Did you get man. an engagement ring with that? <laughs> now, I will tell you this. The sausage was very good. It wasn't greasy. Yeah, sausage, it was, was sausage was very, very, very good there. Brisket, I'm sorry. Nah. It was just meh. It was just meh. Um, I have a hard time finding brisket that just really blows my socks off. Yeah. I really do. Um, Choo Choo Barbecue is this literally another little food trailer on the main strip, and they got their grill out front, and they got it on a, a trailer shaped like a train. <laughs> it's Choo Choo Barbecue, and they're another one that uh, if business, if there's not a lot of traffic, they will close up early and leave. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you never know. You never you know. Never know. And these places all are cash, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. All are cash. Cash only. Cash only. <clears throat> and also, Choo Choo, they only sell until they run out. Until they so, run out. I mean, they could open at 10 and be out by noon, and you come yeah. along at 1, and they're closed. And I mean, you just never know. Yeah. And I couldn't find a phone number There's for There's no phone anymore. number. <laughs> and the Facebook page hadn't been updated in like a year. <laughs> no, it okay? was, they were still talking about being open for COVID. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, really? So, it's it's basically just a little thing that the local is running right there. Yeah. And, I mean, they, they had a little table set up, and, and the... the um, the trailer they were um, servicing out of looked like a little caboose and everything. It was it, so yeah. it's nice. It's a cute little theme. Yeah, but it's obviously not thin, huge, or fancy. So I recommend if if you're in the mood and you go by and they're open, you better stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you drive by and you smell it cooking, stop and get you some because yeah. here's what I'm going to tell you. We got a I got a pound, no, a half a pound of sausage and a half a pound of brisket there, and that cost almost thirty dollars. 
That's not very much. That's not very much. <laughs> but the sausage there, a little bit greasier than, than Hoots, but also very, very good. Very tasty. Very, very good. And the brisket, again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I say, but I'm not a, a huge lover of brisket no. unless it is really one good. of those. It's, it's a, a, yeah, Franklin's. So, yeah. Franklin's, I, I guess Franklin spoiled me years ago when I met him in his first food trailer. And I used to go there all the time with a bunch of guys from Staple and a, and a bunch of other things I used to do downtown. And it was easy access to Franklin's then. Now you, it's not easy access at all. But uh, <laughs> he spoiled me on his barbecue and his um, bourbon banana pudding. Oh, my God. Mm. It was insane. So anyway, mm. that's the two barbecue places and stuff. And then we got, what do we got down here? Who dat and it's slash bench warmer sports bar. So it's kind of two restaurants in one, but it's one family runs the whole thing. So you got a sports bar, so you got that menu for sports bar and stuff, and yeah. then you got uh, the who dat, which actually it's it's a Vietnamese. It's Vietnamese, it's H U and then D A T, yeah, who dat, and it's Vietnamese, yeah. yeah. And um, then they do a, a, a mixture of stuff. So here's one thing I got I, I tried their um, their crab rangoons were delicious. Their egg rolls were extremely delicious. So much so, when the lady was walking around, I stopped her and I had to ask her, I'm like, do you guys, do you use pork or chicken? And she said, she pork. And she had this look on her face like I was about to tell her it was horrible or something like that. And I told her, I said, I said these are the best egg rolls I've ever had. And she got a great big smile on her face. She goes, well, thank you. That was my grandmother's recipe. Yeah. I am not a lover of egg roll. I just, I don't... I, if I get one with my meal, it goes to my husband. I don't want it. I don't like it. But I tried one of these, and it was like, oh, no. That's I can get good, behind that. That's a good egg roll. That was really good. And come to find out uh, later from my sister-in-law that Who Dat uh, is run by Dat Wynn's uh, family. Dat Wynn uh, played for the Cowboys. Oh. He, I think he go. went to a &M. There you go. So that's, that's kind of yeah, interesting. We won't hold that against him. Who Dat... Either way, a and Dallas, Dallas yeah, you know, whatever. whatever, your choice. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's, <clears> yeah, that's but it was a really, really good place to eat. And it's always, it's always good. Everything, every time we went through, the food was good, and we tried a lot of things. It's very consistent. <laughs> they have uh, one, the Korean burger is one we we we, oh, we were on the fence about trying. It's um, it's got um, kimchi on the burger, and just wasn't really. I'm not. I personally am not a huge kimchi fan. Um, so it was really, I was, I was always hesitant to pull the trigger, especially when I found, what is the one we would normally get? The rooster? The rooster. Once I found the rooster, I kind of was hesitant to pull the trigger on anything but the rooster because the rooster was this giant, giant breaded chicken breast. And I got pepper jack cheese on it and bacon. I added bacon to it. And oh my God, it's, it's, uh, who's Chick-fil-A? I don't, I don't know. Who's that? That's a crap restaurant. <laughs> it's like a, a, a piece of, you know, this fried chicken breast that's marinated in. Oh, it was it was sweet, it sweet tea? Sweet tea and Cajun spices. And Cajun spices. And. Oh, Holy crap. Wow. And it has some kind of aioli. I can't remember exactly what, the, what they call it's it. It's a chipotle. Was it was a chipotle aioli. It aioli. Chipotle? Yeah. Anyway, it was good. It was it very was, tasty. Yeah. It was all around very tasty. And um, yeah, I really wanted to try that Korean burger. And I, the guy, the waiter that we had pretty much every time we went in there, we went in there three times. Three times. Three times. Um, he actually brought some accent. I, I was like, I, I'd like to taste it before I get this yeah. burger. She's never had kimchi. She never had it. And so he brought it out and just let me taste some. And Eating it by itself, it, it was all right, but it was a little more on the sweet side for mm -hmm. me, and I like a little bit more of the spicy. And he was like, "Well, you know, you really got to, you know, with the burger and all the you flavors kind of go together." This, yeah. and, you get, you know, and I was like, yeah. "I bet that would, I bet that would be real good." And yeah, if I'm if I'm ever down there again for some whatever reason, uh, I might actually try, try one. Yeah, and then of course uh, the the nephew said we got to do the doughboy. I'm not. Oh my <sighs> god, it's a burger. And the buns are replaced with uh, Krispy Kreme donuts. Not a half a donut, a donut on either side of this burger. And it sounds delicious. It's got the fried egg on it like I love. It's got everything I love, but I am not a Krispy Kreme fan. And uh, I think maybe for the nostalgia of it, I might try it one time. But, uh, yeah, it's Krispy Kreme. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, but they also have um, bun bun bowls. 
that what it was? Or bun bowls. Bun bowls. Bun bowls? Bun bowls. B-U-N. B-U-N? Bun bowls? Yeah, bun bowls, yeah. And I never had those before, but if you look those up, they they look delicious, and they have a crap ton of those. Yeah. And again, we just couldn't pull a trigger on that because we kept going back to that rooster because that rooster was so freaking good. Right. It was so good. I couldn't, I couldn't not get the rooster. I know. It's like every time I went, I was like, I'm going to get something different. And then the last second I'd be like, mm, I'm going to get the rooster. Oh, oh and the, the last thing, man, we, they, they got a sign as you walk in and says, be sure to get you an order of funnel front fries. Funnel, what? funnel fries. Just funnel fart fries. <laughs> no, not funnel fart. <laughs> funnel French fries. The, yeah. The, it's funnel the dessert. fries. Yeah. It's the des- dessert. Funnel cake. Funnel it's cake. Funnel French cake. Fries. French fries. Yeah. And uh, so we got them the last time we were there. And you know what? <laughs> They're right. They're, well, it's they're, basically a funnel cake cut up. It's, look like it's good. It's good. But it was good. It's good. It's good. It's a good place. Uh, Who that? Uh, I wish, honestly, we had stunt. We had gone there and gone in there sooner when we got down there. Yeah. Then we did. So we tripped him as much as we could. So, uh, okay. From there, we go down to uh, Pop's Place, which is another one that your brother showed us. And it's actually yeah. over, um, what is that, Lamar Beach? Yeah. Over in the Lamar it's, Beach area. It's which is right there. when you get uh, over the um, the br- bridge, I guess you call it. Yeah. The from, bridge. From Rockport over to Lamar. From Fulton. Yeah, from Fulton going to Hollywood Beach. Is it Hollywood Beach? Holiday Beach. Holiday, not Hollywood. Oh my God. Oh, oh, and you're the one yes, that's having the feeling. I'm just the one that just. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yes, they have their home uh, in Holiday Beach area. Yeah. And uh, it was my brother's best friend's birthday, and his family was in town, so we all went to Pop's Place. Pop's Place, and uh, it was a uh, just a just a little dive. Yeah. I had pool tables out yeah. there, had a nice little bar, just like a, a beer joint, yeah. like I'm used to down in New Braunfels. When I used to it was pretty cool. And they had burgers and stuff, and the burgers were really good. And it they was. had, I don't remember what it was called, but there was one that was just, everything that was on this burger was flame. I mean, it was, it just red. Uh, it, it, it burnt my taste buds just reading it off the menu. Yeah. And one of the, one of the kids over there got, got it. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm watching this kid, and he just gobbled this thing down. I'm like, dude. He goes, "Well, no, that's got a little heat to it." And I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> and he dude. didn't, he didn't weigh uh, 99 pounds. No, my so God, get wet, get wet. That's pretty good. Okay, <laughs> all right, dude. All but yeah, right. that was pretty cool. Pretty cool little place. You just want a burger and a beer. Yeah, and it wasn't expensive. Awesome. Got a nice uh, Dos Equis. Well, I say it up. wasn't expensive. My brother paid for. Uh, we're sitting there and all of a sudden everybody gets to walk away and we're like, wait a minute. Yeah, paid, everybody was what? like out the door. We're like, what's Who, going what? on? And we didn't pay for our burger. Yeah, so, uh-oh. So anyway, we owe you. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so from Pops, let's move on. We got down to one of our other bigger ones that we uh, frequented a lot. La Tequila Jalisco. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. These guys, uh, they are, they're queso. Delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Uh, their foods are delicious. All the foods are delicious there. And <laughs> let's see, their margaritas are delicious. Oh, my God. So, let me guess. This place was delicious. It was delicious. It was delicious. It was delicious. And, and it there's was... lots of places down there that have the word Jalisco. Yeah, so make sure you, it's, it's <laughs> La Tequila Jalisco right in front of the Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Don't go down two blocks to Original Jalisco. The original, the original and then Puerto Vallarta Jalisco. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And then Jalisco, Jalisco. Oh, Jalisco, Jalisco. Jalisco yeah. Juniors. <laughs> La Tequila, Jalisco. Uh, and we had uh, a couple of waiters there. One of them was Carlos, and we actually had Charlie. Charlie. I was like, oh my God, it's Carlos, Carlos and Charlie. And Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good laugh out of that. I was like, I was like, hey Eric, Eric, remember our guy last week was Charlie? Well, this guy is Carlos. Carlos oh, and Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> oh, God, we're stupid. We we're stupid. stupid. I had way too much sweet tea. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, I highly recommend um if you're gonna be there for a while, if you got a big family and you're gonna be there a while. Go ahead and get the large margarita, okay? But it's big. They may as well just call it a fish bowl, okay? It's gym. wear your swimming trunks. <laughs> yeah, wear your swimming trunks on that one. Um, don't be afraid to get just like the small one, because uh, I can. We got it got to the point where I just I would order a small one, and I just we'd have our meal, and I had the small one was just perfect. And I got the frozen one with peach, and then I had tahini on the rim. Oh my god. <laughs> 
That was the delicious. I want one right now. Oh, and it's my so God. far. It's six and a half hours away. I think we can make it by morning. Let's go. <laughs> and we're real by morning. <laughs> no, other Alisco. direction. La <laughs> tequila, let's go. Hey. What? We can do a song. No. Tequila, let's go. No. No. You can't. You sing. I don't. I can't carry a tune in a bucket. Anyway. Okay. Next. <laughs> Next one is the one we kind of kind of started to mention a little bit. It's the Fulton's Irish Pub and Grill. This is the one that's down right across from the water and the, the I guess the the oyster the fairgrounds where they do the oyster fest. Okay. They've got a little deck area out there. They've got a pool table and they've got a nice little bar and it is an Irish pub. So they got all kinds of drinks and stuff there. And the fair, the food is Irish fair. They've got a shepherd's pie that is insane. They've got a uh, chicken pot pie that is awesome. Their meatloaf. Well, you didn't like the chicken pot pie? You know what that crazy? Well, about? no, no, I don't say I didn't like it, but uh, it it was all right, but it definitely was not as good as that shepherd's pie. And the shepherd's pie is insane. I'm not gonna lie. Shepherd's, shepherd's pie, pie is insane. Yeah. Uh, they've got a couple of soups there that are Irish soups. I don't remember the name of them, but my God, I got a cup of one of them one time. It was delicious. It was insane. The meatloaf was very good as meatloaf well. Meatloaf was good. Yeah. And then I got the the, um, the Guinness burger with the beer stout onions, and um, yeah, it was it was okay. I would rather have the shepherd's pie or the meatloaf. Yeah, highly recommend the shepherd's pie and the meatloaf. And uh, the waiter's name is Kevin. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kevin. Kevin. And uh, <laughs> one thing they uh, they won me off the bat was that was the first place we went when we were there. The first night we were in town, yeah. you saw the video of us driving through the fog because the Stuarts were in town. That's where we ended up. Was the it follows uh, us around? <laughs> it does. The Irish pub <laughs> was where we ended up, and that's where we met Kevin. And uh, the first oh, thing, I'm sorry, what? no, it was just that first night when we got there. I don't know if he was like the only guy working. Well, in. it was New Year's Day. <sighs> True. It was New Year's Day. He was the only guy working. It was he him was and one guy behind the bar. It was just yeah. those two out front. Oh, the cook. Well, the, yeah, those yeah. two out front. And he was trying to help, but he's really wrong. Oh, but, um, yeah, it, I mean, luckily we were like, okay, we understand and we'll give this place another chance. Yeah. Because most places, if I'd have gone, <laughs> it well, took a long time for him to come over. In all fairness, he did say, I want to apologize in advance. Five tables sat down just before you guys walked in. Yeah. So, and, and we're never in a big hurry. So we're like, it's cool. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And uh, they had uh, Austin East Ciders pineapple on tap. Yeah. So I'm cool. Yeah. Bring me my pineapple. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. And it was good. And uh, the food was good. And we we're like, hey, you know, we're going to come back. And we did. And, and we did. And it was, it was really, really good. So. Yeah, and Kevin's so, a laugh. He is a laugh. He's really a cool guy, and he's you can tell he's been in that area forever. And he just you know, he talks and make jokes, and he's really cool. Yeah, yeah, good place. Fulton's Irish Pub and Grill. Check that out. And let me see here. We've got one that was a, a food trailer. Now we 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 saw this food trailer every time we went to the laundromat because it was across the street. We never went over there, but right on the back of the trailer, they're advertising or. The um, suicide prevention line. For the military. For military or anybody. For the, eight, the 800 number. But they're specifically for military because yeah. they're military-run trailer. Yeah. Um, and, uh, my God, it was just a, a real just uh, humbling to see that. And when we went to the farmer's market, they were there. So we finally got to have a little bit of their food. And it was a pretty good burger. Yeah. Pretty daggum mm -hmm. burger. Good burger. Yeah. They had a queso burger or something, didn't they? I don't remember. But it was good. Yeah. I remember I gobbled it up. I know yeah. that. I think, didn't we have the same? It was good. Yeah. I think I think we yeah. had the same. We usually end up doing that. <laughs> we'll go and we'll look at the menu and I'll figure out what I want and I'll be like, what are you getting? And he'll tell me, I'm like, dang it, that's exactly what I was getting. So, you know, we end up doing that a lot. <laughs> and anyway, that is Sam Castle Kitchen. It's a veteran-run food trailer. So uh, if you guys are out that way, um, check those guys out. And anything that we've gone over here, um, once I get this posted, uh, check if you need links and stuff. If I can find a link for everything, I'll put it down in the description, no matter what it is on the podcast platform or if it's over on the um, Patreon or anywhere else like that. Okay, so look down in the description, and, and if I can find a link for all this stuff so you can check it out, uh, go do that. Uh, last thing that we went to was something that kind of intrigued us when we... <laughs> Uh, got there, the RV park we were at, 
also owned the restaurant, which was right next to it, and it's called the Gnarly Marlin. Now, this was cool to me because it used to be called the Gnarly Gar here off of Lake Travis in Austin. So, and I guess they, the lake got low, <laughs> and attendance got low. So they moved down to the coast, and they opened up on the coast, and they changed it to the Gnarly Marlin. Um, we went there one time. If you if you stay at this RV park, you get a 10% discount. So we went there to check it out because it's right there at the end of the and We thought we could just walk down there and we could just drink a little bit. You know, and Yeah, you can, but it's bar prices, and it's not cheap when you can go buy a six-pack and just sit out in front of your own RV. Um, the food, um, it's everyday fried fare and some high-end fish. Yeah. So, I mean, it was... It was okay. Yeah. It was I, I give it about an 80. Yeah. It, I give, it was I give probably it a B. just as good as 90% of all the other places out yeah. there that you'll probably go to. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean. It, it wasn't a four-star restaurant. It did, knock, it did knock our socks like off. The worst thing in the world. No, I mean, we didn't. Um, they we had one time. Advertised that they have East Sider on tap. You asked for it. No, we don't have that. Okay. Yeah. We'll take it off your menu. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It was actually, you know, she, I mean, she wasn't. The, the friendliest the friendliest waitress the you know it was like you know hurry up you're wasting my time kind of thing I'm like really because you don't have a restaurant like, you only got like four of the people in the entire restaurant yeah so I, I didn't get a warm and fuzzy no anyway. warm and fuzzy the food was the food was okay I mean it's nothing bad I'm not going to say anything no, it bad wasn't, it, wasn't bad. Just, it wasn't bad at all the it overall just, experience just wasn't 100% yeah. uh, when there's so many other things to check out yeah you know you really got to yeah. bring something you know, for yeah. people to say, I want to go there every day. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, give them a, give them a shot and tell yeah. us what you guys think. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, there were some other things that we just didn't get to surprisingly. Um, <laughs> uh, and you got the, the boiling pot, which is a crawfish restaurant down there. It's right downtown. You got Lulu's Landing, which is another little bar with bar food. And yeah, it's bar food. That's where we beer, talked about the the dude with the cool. harmonica said they play every Thursday night at Lulu's Landing. So yeah, yeah. Go to Lulu's Landing on a Thursday night. Listen to the band. You'll hear the guy playing the harmonica, and you'll know exactly who we're talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, now the one that I kept wanting to try, but it was never. It was either not open, or when it was open, it was completely packed because it didn't have a large driveway. Yeah. Was a Bellino's Italian restaurant. This was just like a little hole in the wall down a little side street, and you could drive right by it and not even know it. Yeah. You know? And I was like, this place, when it's open, it's completely it's packed. packed. Seriously. I'm like, where are they putting all them people? Right. So <laughs> I kind of wanted to try it. I never got to. Never so got to. that's another one that's on our list. You can check that out. And then they have a ton, ton of coffee shops. You got the Duck Blind Coffee, which is downtown by Houdat's. Yeah. Um, and you got Rockport Daily Grind Coffee Shop. Yeah. And then you got the bakery cafe. It's really kind of funny, as much into coffee that I am, and we never made it to any of these coffee shops. Because we have our own coffee maker. Let's, let's be for real. I'm right. like forty four cents for this cup, or five dollars and fifty cents, and getting out and driving. <laughs> yeah, to it. and having to go out and get it. So, so but yeah. no, I, I really I wanted to try the coffee shop. So we just never got around. No, I got around to it. And there's a bunch of donut shops too. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of donut shops. Okay, let's see. Holy crap, we've gone through three pages already of notes here. Okay. And we are on uh, the last page here. And this is about the um, the RV park itself. Yeah. Okay. And uh, when every podcast we've done before, while we're in the RV park, I usually try not to say the RV park. I don't want to seem like we're trying to get free stuff from the RV park or anything like that because we're not. You know, I, I just don't want to show favoritism and stuff. But now that we've gone, we've, we've we moved on. This was Cove Harbor Waterfront RV Resort. Okay. It's not huge. I think they had like, how many yeah. spaces? Like 26 or 30 spaces? No. It was a lot more than that. Was there? There was that whole line on both sides. I don't think, not more than probably, 40. Not more than 40. You don't think so? I don't I think, think there so. was like 60. I thought they said 62. But they had 62 spaces. Anyway, it's not a lot. <laughs> it's, it's not a lot. One, it's one row. You got one drive in and one drive out. Yeah. And um, they're all cement pad sites. That's cement road going into this thing. Great drainage everywhere. The sites are very, very large. Full hookups on every site. 
Um, there are a, a bunch of sites that are from front pull-ins for um, the big RV res- uh, RVs, the big um, Class A's. Yeah. Because they originally opened up catering to Class A's when they were like, well, you know what? We can make more money renting out to everybody else, too. Yeah. So now they, they do both. But uh, a lot of Class A's come in there. Yeah. There was one that came in there that I looked it up. And that model started at one point three million dollars. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I got a forty thousand dollar <laughs> shoebox, and you're sitting here at one point three million dollar RV. I don't think we're in the same class. We're not the same people. We're not the same people. <laughs> but at all. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of really nice um, RVs that that were there, um, especially especially the ones that you know pulled in right there at the water and yeah. got to look out at it every day. But yeah. Um, so yeah, it was it was. Interesting to see all those. Yeah. Um, large sites, as I said, full hookups. Now, um, when we booked the site... They, In November. November, because now, if y'all remember, we talked about we went on a three-day trip down there and drove to no less than, like, 50 places. All over the place. All over this place. And uh, fi- found this one. No, no. Now, when we say no less than 50, most of those were drive in, drive right back out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no. You could, you could literally <laughs> no. f- toss a freaking quarter in the air and it will land on an RV spot. Uh, yeah, RV place. RV place. And some of them are just, you know, hey, I've got this piece of land. <laughs> Anybody want to park their RV over oh, here? Oh, my God. There was one that was for oh. sale that had squeezed three RV sites on it. And I'm like. No. Yeah. No. So yeah, a lot of them are just no's. Yeah. There's there's good and there's bad, and you really got to look at look into it down there because all the good stuff will book out quickly. Yeah. And surprisingly, all the big ones we had looked at were really booked out, and trying to get on the list was crazy. And then we roll into this place, and I'm like, this place is awesome. Look, the water's right there. There's a, a bird sanctuary, wetland over there. Look, I can look out there and see water, which is what I wanted. For my yeah. relaxation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we got you for two months. That's no problem. Yeah. We were like, what? Okay. <laughs> and then I, I was like, I was scared to ask how much it was every month. And it was half a four seventy five a month. Yeah. I was like, huh? What? And, of course, after our first month there, they sent out a memo, we're now going up to five twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> so, one month we paid four seventy five, the next we paid five twenty five. But it was still a good deal. Yeah, so. considering that's half of what we were paying in Hutto in off-season. Yeah, so. yeah. So, um, but one of the big selling points to me was I really wanted to get back into a heated pool for some of my water therapy and stuff. And uh, they said, well, we've, we've got a heater. We're going to hook up to the pool. We're just having trouble getting an electrician. So hopefully by the time you're here, we'll have an electrician. January found, 1st. January 1st. And a half. We're like, oh, okay, month and a half. Month and a half. Yeah. Surely somebody can come out and get this done. And, um, yeah, they, they didn't. And we <laughs> kept didn't. asking. And, well, it should be this week. Yeah. Oh, or maybe next week. Oh, I'll have somebody count next week. And I, I looked at Eric and I said, you know what? I bet you the day before we get ready to leave, they'll have that sucker hooked up. And you know what? The day before we were ready to leave, they had it fired up. Fired up. And I didn't get to use it. <laughs> I but was like, oh my God. For anybody now, they have a heated swimming pool. And it's a nice pool. It's a nice, it's not ginormous. It's a nice little pool. And I yeah. got a, some videos of that too. I'll put it out there. And, um, yeah, yeah. yeah they had uh, that. They got a workout room. It's actually really cool if you actually get off your butt and go use it. Yeah, we uh, used it, and they have some good machines. They yeah, really good machines, and you know, it's, it's just re- it's and... just really hard for me to work out on equipment. I uh, it's just I've got to I've got to figure out what's going to work for me. I, mean, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. Really don't know yet, and we're living in a shoebox trying to figure this out. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, the clubhouse, they got a nice little clubhouse with TV and stuff like that, and the bathroom's in there, and they got a little kitchenette. You can use the kitchenette anytime you need to. They have a giant ice machine. Which is really and, cool. Which is really cool. Free ice. And so if you don't have a an ice machine in your RV, which most people don't, we do have one. It's under the bed in there. That was such a pain in the butt. What? The ice it's machine? huge. It takes up so much room. It does take and... up some, but it's cool. It's nice to have ice. It's nice, but if they have it for, for free, free yeah. then I put that sucker up. Yeah. We just went and filled up a thing with ice. Yeah. But they also have a, a marina there, so they, they 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 cater to the boat life as well as the RV life. Yeah. So if you're fishing and you've got a, a cooler that you need to fill up with ice to go out on the water, they got the free ice for you, too. So. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Free Ice uh, gated community with uh, codes to get in as well as codes for the showers and, uh, and bath uh, bathrooms and shower house. Yeah. Um, the community social events. These guys, they did a meet and greet every Monday night for everybody to gather down there and come down and share drinks and stuff and, and just meet and greet with people. Yeah. And then they do football games. They do breakfast socials. We went over for a couple of breakfast socials, and uh, that was really nice. Yeah. Uh, and they try to keep an active social life for the people in the in the park. You know, so that's that was really good to see. And a lot of people showed up for those. Yeah, a lot of people. It surprised it's, me. It's it's you know? it's not like a, a park that's got like ten rows and it's got a hundred and fifty uh, RV spaces spread out. No, this is literally one row of like. 25, 30 on one side, 25, 30 on the other side. Yeah. So everybody's walking up and down the same road. Yeah. And everybody sees everybody. Everybody everybody knew Paco. Everybody knew <laughs> the grouchy hard dog. hard not to know. He's yeah. the loudest voice in the room. Everybody knew the grouchy dog. <laughs> everybody knew the grouchy dog. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was really cool. Um, Again, uh, the owners of the RV park uh, own the Gnarly Marlins, so you get a 10% discount down there. Uh, if you're uh, in the boat <coughs> life instead of the RV life, RV life, they do have a ugentic, and I mean ugentic marina, uh, that shares all the amenities with the RV park. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And they have sections. They have a, I think the owner actually has this big ass yacht that's anchored down at one end by the restaurant, and I think that's his. <coughs> that's nice. And then there's like a public pier. Um, for boats coming in and out to the restaurant. And then there's two or three that are for the big boats, big house boats, big yachts and stuff like that. Then there's two or three that are the smaller ones. And there's another two or three on the, on the end that are for public in and out boat, boat uh, yeah. usage. So it's really cool. I mean, there's, uh, there's one of them down at the, the other end that uh, people that were in the RV park can actually go out on and fish. And fish. <laughs> and we, went, we went down it. We got to a certain Part of it, and we're like, oh, it was just covered in bird dew. <laughs> like, oh, the birds have enjoyed this yeah. little part here. Yeah. I mean, if you want to sit down, it's, no. I can honestly, it, it's off season, so I know they probably, hopefully, do a little bit of cleaning job. I'm not, we're not on the boat life, and we're not into the piers and a whole lot, but hopefully during the normal season, they've got a pressure washer and they keep that thing clean. <laughs> hopefully, because there was a lot of shit, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of shit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, they have they do have two dog walking areas. Okay, they are not fenced, and you have to keep your pets on a leash. And I say that for that one old guy with the cute little shit dog. There's always one. That it, he just opened the damn door and let the dog run across the little way. Mm -hmm. But he always did it when I'm walking Paco. And that, that kinda, little... he kind of reminded me of the old man from the Burbs. Remember that movie, The Burbs? Yeah. That let his white little white dog out, and he'd go and he crap in the other guy's yard. Yep. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly who I see right there. And I was just like, I just want to say something, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, and uh, here's one thing. If, if your pup poops, you must scoop. Period. Pick the dog poop up. And this is where we get it. We're kind of rolling on the end here. But this something I we should kind of mentioned a little bit a while ago. Um, humans are disgusting. Uh. Humans are disgusting. And uh, the, the little bird sanctuary... There was uh, the route that we walked took us out one sandbar, and you took a right, and you walked all the way to the end of the sandbar, and there was a little cove inlet right in there, and we'd walk out to the end down there, and that was our, that was our walk. Paco liked to walk in the water, and sometime when the tide was down, Paco could get down and walk all along the sand. Yeah, it was like he had his own little beach. A little beach. He really, he <laughs> he really loved, loved that. Once he learned not to drink the water. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, but people of all ilk, and I mean ilk. And the ilkiest of ilky ways would come down there, and they would be out in the middle of the night fishing. And um, if you've ever been into a seaside shanty town, and you see the the one person or two people that look like they're living in the bushes, and they've got a bicycle with two fishing rods on the side of it, because that's the only way they're eating, they would come down there. At night, and sit down on the end down there all night long, and play a little music on their phones or whatever, smoke the little cigarettes of whatever they want to smoke down there, and fish. But they left a freaking mess. Yeah, they leave 
all their garbage. Oh my god. We went down there one day and well there's always um plastic bags. Plastic bags in the water. Uh, that took me off. There were um like plastic like Gatorade bottles and that kind of stuff, you know, all over in the water. Fishing um, string. Styrofoam cups, fishing string everywhere. Yeah. That really got me. Um, there was a uh, liquor bottles. Yeah, we um, would we we would pick up handfuls of stuff and put it in the back of the truck and and get rid of it. But it, it's just like <sighs> you know you 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 have this beautiful area that is free for yeah. you to take advantage of the sea and everything in it, and you do this. People are people are just they're disgusting. They are. It's like you can't even pick up your garbage and take it with you yeah. when you leave. And it yeah. just it it made me sad. You know, especially after going to the aquarium, yeah, and seeing what it does to the turtles, to the areas. turtles oh and dolphins, and just yeah, everything, everything in the in there, it gets wrapped around them. They try to eat it. They mm-hmm. die, they die because yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. the plastic and styrofoam, they they chew on it. It gets in their body and it doesn't digest, yeah. and it just makes them feel like they're full, yeah. so they stop eating. It's it's sad. And it's really sad. So, uh, you know, after that, I really started to notice. And it's like, this was just a very small portion of our coastline. Yeah. A extremely small portion. And it was disgusting. Yeah. It, there was this garbage everywhere. That people everywhere. just throw, you know, even along the sides of the roads. Yeah. There was this garbage everywhere floating in the water because, you know, it's so wet that you just had water in all of the ditches. Yeah. And it's just garbage. Everywhere. Yeah. And it's like, come on, people. We are. Human beings are a uh, disgusting creature. So uh, if you're listening to this, uh, pick up after yourself. Don't be a disgusting creature. Okay? Yeah. Um, do mean, better. Do better. It, it don't, doesn't take that much. You know, pick it up. Take it with you. Find yeah. gar- you if, if you don't have a garbage can at home, go to McDonald's. Yeah. They have one outside. Every, you know? li- every little bit helps, you know. And um, I'm going to end the, my part of this on, on one little thing. that's one of my favorite things where... We go over there. We we drive over to the parking area, and we get out. And Robin gets out and has Paco, and she <laughs> Paco jumps out, and he walks right by. There's this big ass fish, <laughs> and Robin steps next to it and it starts flopping. She's like, "Oh my god, it's alive!" <laughs> she reached out and she picked it up and she threw it in the water. It's like, what kind of ass hat picks up a fish and leaves it on the ground? You know what? What? What kind of a jerk was that? You know, you saved that fish. Good on you, honey. We start walking down the way, and we start getting accosted by this big ass seagull. He was not happy. He with was me. not. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, that was his fish. Well, he shouldn't have dropped it. <laughs> and we showed up, scared him off, <clears throat> and he tried to come back for it, but we had to put it back in the water, and it's he like, wasn't happy. I tried to get that fish for like three hours. Yeah. What are you was, doing to me? He kept flying over. I'm like, no, don't you shit on me. Get off me. I was like, go oh away. God. Go I'm away. I'm sorry. I still have nightmares. If you shit on me, I will hunt you down. I promise you that. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't even think. I didn't, you know, I just saw a fish flopping. I just want to get him back in the water, you know? Uh, you know, I'm a living things person. And I'm like, go ahead. Go back. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I, I was like, swear, oh, crap. We thought we were doing a good I know, thing. I I was doing somebody some good <laughs> you were the fish so yeah the fish was like lady i love you oh, oh you know yeah. that fish had a story oh my god i was abducted i was taken i was sucked up out of the water they took me and they threw me on the floor they started pecking at me and then all of a sudden this amazon came along and picked me up and threw me back in the water i thought i was a goner i swear to god uh <laughs> wow holy crap all right <laughs> that is that's our Rockport recap. Uh, Jay, we hung out about two months there, and him and Hod and tossed and turn about if that was somewhere that we would want to to land, and we're trying to find a place to grow roots, yeah. um, so we can actually have uh, forever a home, yeah. and maybe yeah. maybe slow down and do some traveling for the fun of traveling, not uh, traveling for having to live and find somewhere to save money you know when you travel yeah. Yeah. so um what's that's one reason we're up here in canton right now we're looking at uh some stuff here in canton and uh, i grew up in around this area with uh summers on uh, my my grandparents property out here and uh, i remember when um trade days was very very small 
Very, very small, very, very unknown. And this town had a Piggly Wiggly and like one gas station and a Sears um, washing machine place. Not a, not a big Sears, washing machine. As they sold washing machines there. You could order your refrigerators from them and stuff like that, but they only sold washer, washers and dryers. And that place is still, that Sears is still there. No. It's well, not. the building's still there, but. Oh, the it's not. Oh, Sears shit. is there no more. Shit. That sucks. Anyway, <laughs> the town is, uh, it's grown quite considerably. Um, and oh my God, trade days. Um, yeah. It is ass insane. Yeah. It's like the whole it, town. It is, uh, it is tremendously insane. This RV park for three days was completely full. And uh, the day after trade days, ghost oh, town. Gone. Ghost town. Like, well, oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> See you next month. So, you know, we got, yeah. we, we, we looked at Rockport, looked at Canton here, we're looking at Canton here. Um, we might look at, what is it, Cossie? Cossie? Cossie. K O S S E. And then uh, Bremond. Bremond. And I keep calling it Bromead just Bromede. because it's easier for me to remember. <laughs> You know, that place down in Bromede, you know. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We don't know where we we're going to land, but um, hopefully we can land somewhere and we can maybe get a... <laughs> if anybody out there has a small piece of land <laughs> yeah. they want to sell for a decent price, let us know. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to find somewhere to land and build a little more dominium on. And uh, one of the projects will be to have a studio, an actual studio, not the yeah. shoebox RV that we're living yeah. in. I want to house. Somebody have pity on me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. Poor, have. poor people. My stuff me. has been in storage for like three. How many years? Um, oh my gosh. We've been married for nine. When did, when, did we come years? Back, when did we come back from New Hampshire that first time? So, well, you lived there two years, and then I came down three years, so five years. So 2019, because we got the, we bought the RV and we bought the truck. 2019. Yeah. yeah. So midsummer 2019. Oh, yes. <laughs> I want my stuff. Holy shit! It has been almost four years. Yeah. It thinks I don't want it anymore. Holy crap! <laughs> so yeah. I'm I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. <laughs> There's stuff in there that I haven't seen in four years. I'd like to see. It. <laughs> Yeah. There's stuff that I forgot is in there. I always say it's going to be like Christmas. Yeah, when we start opening <laughs> right. those boxes, and, we're, and when we do get wherever we get, and we start unloading the storage, there's going to be a huge garage sale because I promise you. Yeah, stay tuned. I promise you, we have bought everything at least three times. <laughs> As many places, because you know we live somewhere, and then we move, so we had to pack everything up, and then we put everything in storage, and then, and then we, we live in the RV, and we move around, else, and... and we had to. Buy all the stuff that we did have, but it's in storage. And then we moved again. <laughs> I swear to God, we have three of everything. I know, I have we have of three of everything. Uh, oh, my God. It's going to be a huge gross. Anyway. I've gotten to where I go without things because I'm not buying that again. <laughs> I know I've got one in there. I will go without I'm like, it. I'm like, hey, do we have a pizza cutter? No, because we have no. three in storage. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm not like, buying fine, I'll one. use a knife. I'll okay. I'll one at Goodwill. <laughs> Pay a quarter for it. <laughs> Oh, anyway. okay. So just uh, okay. the business business side of things here. Just remember, join us over on patreon.com slash Stuart Perspective. $5 a month. That's it. I'm not going to be one of these. We're not one of these guys that's got like the multiple tiers for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. No, five dollars. Basically buying one coffee a month, you're buying us a, co a coffee to have first access to the podcast. Okay. So you get to have access to it 24 to 48 hours before anybody else does, okay? Then you get the exclusive video content, podcast content, and specials. And once we start doing the merchandise that's coming up, you'll be the first ones to get the merchandising. Um, um, T-shirts and hats and stuff like that. You'll have the first opportunity for that, and I'll have a special code and everything for you. You'll be styling. You'll be styling with the Stuart Perspective. But, um, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have trucker hats. We're going to have T-shirts and stuff like that. So you'll, have, you'll, you'll be styling, right? You'll All right? be styling. Anyway, so there's that. Um, that's the big one, and that's the one that helps us out the most, okay? Um, then you can always donate directly to the show, like uh, unlike one of our patrons did for my birthday. She gave us $25 for us to have some drinks and stuff. So I'm going to find a liquor store around here that we can go in and we can get a whole bunch of different types of, 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 of ciders and stuff like that to try. So... Because I like, I like trying some new stuff, you know. I, I can always just go in there and buy some e-cider stuff, or I can just go in and buy a whole bunch of stuff and try it. I like to try that. 
Anyway, yada, yada, yada. That mm-hmm. you can donate directly to paypal.me slash raw communications. That is the parent company for everything right there. And that just put a note on there, have a drink on me uh, or whatever. Okay. Um, you can go to reaperapparelco.com. That's a, um, we're brand exa- ambassadors for those guys. Great content on their, their designs. And their um, T-shirts are awesome. They go to big boy sizes, 4X, 5X, which is getting harder and harder to find at Wally World and anywhere else. Anywhere. Okay, anywhere. So check those guys out. Use um, Buy something for those guys, okay? Um, use promo code Uncle Mongrel, and you'll get 10% off. And when you use that code, that kicks back a little bit to the show here. So you get 10% off, and they kick a little back to us so that we get a little support for the show. Just go buy a hat. Go buy a T-shirt, okay? Kick a little something back to the show. And if you just want to follow the podcast, you can find us on Podbean, Stuart Perspective, and you can look at all the other um, platforms that are out there. iHeartRadio, we're on that, and we get a lot of people from iHeartRadio. Um, uh, was it Amazon Music Podcast? We're on that. Stitcher, Spotify, and I, there's a whole bunch of them. Google Podcasts, there's a whole bunch of them that we're actually on now. I think we're about, I think last count, we're on like a dozen Platforms really? now? A dozen oh. platforms. So look for... But not stu- iTunes. Not iTunes. Really? Because you know, my sister-in-law is like half owner of Apple. So <laughs> I'm going to have to have a talk with her about this and what's going on. Well, it's... It, it, they, you have, you, you, I've, I've submitted everything. Nice. I've submitted everything and they will review it. And they said, this may take a couple, uh, a few weeks to review um, to me, see if the, if you meet their criteria or whatever. I'm like... A few weeks. Well, they got those little kids in China looking at that too. (laughs) (laughs) Now they're really not going to put us on there. (laughs) Just kidding. That was for comedic effect. That'd be so funny. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, everybody who's hung out, thank you so much. Those of you who support us on Patreon, those of you that are still listening to this particular podcast. Oh God, yeah, we are. We are in the ramble phrase here. Thank Uh, you. And uh, I'm going to call it there. As always, love, peace, and bacon grease, y'all. Mmm, bacon. <laughs> Come on, now.